Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2016 Women's College World Series. At this time, we have Auburn University. Uh, for Auburn, we have Coach Myers, uh, student athletes Tiffany Howard, Casey Cooper, Jade Rose, and Michaela Martin. Uh, we'll start with general comments about the game for Coach, and then we we'll open up for questions. I'm very proud of these uh, these young ladies that play softball at Auburn University. Uh, they gave their heart, their soul. They gave their commitment. They battled. They were relentless. They lost to an outstanding Oklahoma team. Well coached, great athletes. We talked at the beginning in August about having the opportunity we were picked, I believe, sixth to finish in the SEC. We won it. That's me. <laughs> we won it. We, we lost to – turn my phone on vibrate so that we can finish this thing. Um, we lost to Arizona. People said we couldn't come back. We beat them twice. Heart, character. Relentless pursuit of excellence. We lose the first game to Oklahoma. They come back. Extra innings. They beat Oklahoma. We came up one run short. We didn't do the little things. If we do the little things, we win that ball game one nothing. The freshman pitcher, people were asking, why a freshman? I think he saw why a freshman. Ice water in her veins, competitor beyond comp competitors, an outstanding young lady that went out there, took the ball, and said, we're going to win. And she pitched her ass off. I don't know if you can get that on the bloopers or not, but that's the best way to describe it. We could go on and on about the accolades of these young ladies that sit to my right and the ones that are not here. But I just told them, you know, we, ha we have a saying that if you play softball at Auburn University, you will make the world a better place. I believe that each of these young ladies, with their commitment, their drive, what they've learned as far as life lessons, has made the world a better place. All right, we're going to open up for questions. Cliff Brown, Associated Press. I know it's tough for everybody right now, but especially for Emily. Um, just how is she handling things, and just how tough is it to see a, such a player of that quality go through a game like that? Uh, Emily is just taking it hard. Um, uh, she is the one that sat up here and said about Emily just came in. Well, we will let Emily answer that question. Go ahead and repeat okay. it. Uh, Emily, just a, obviously a, a big game yesterday, and obviously you're such a quality player. How tough is it to have a game like this in this situation? I know everybody's having a tough time, but particularly with the struggles that you had today. I mean, in the beginning of the season, uh, during the fall, I sat in front of my locker and just, just prayed. I was like, God, I just want to make it to the very last day. I want to play every last game that I can, every game possible, and I got it. I mean, the team was good enough to win. Um, they're going to come back next year, and they're going to come back strong. Could you just talk about what happened on the throw on the play in the first inning? Did the ball slip out of your hand? It did. I mean, I don't get it. That's never happened before. But it happened today. It slipped. Clint, John McKelvey with the number transcript. Just want to ask, what makes Parker so difficult to face? Paige is a quality pitcher. I mean, you know, the, uh, 
I, you know, the, the rest that she had, her velocity was up a little bit compared to what she was the first day. Her movement was, you know, a, a little bit more. I mean, when you're rested, you pitch better. And uh, she's an outstanding pitcher. You don't win uh, 35, 36, 37 games like she has and, and, and be and not be, especially for a program like Oklahoma. And uh, she pitched well. You know, I mean, if you look, I mean, it was a 2-1 ball game. I mean, our pitcher gave up only five hits, too. Um, you know, the, the Paige Parkers of the future, you know, sitting in, the, in front of you now. She gets the, the support that Paige gets, and we do the things, you know. But I just think that, you know, the rest gave her uh, a little bit – she was a little crisper, a little sharper, but I mean, we had our opportunities and we didn't capitalize. West Signer with AL.com. Michaela, you've just heard your coach, you know, pitched your ass off. Um, how do you feel about your performance? Such a high pressure situation for you being a freshman and, and what does this mean, you know, for your future? How hungry are you gonna be next year to get back here? I mean, um, I wasn't really pressured when Corey and all the coaches told me I was going to throw this game. I mean, I already knew I was going to throw this game yesterday or two days ago. I don't know. But, I mean, I thought I was – like, the game was – I thought I was throwing good. And um, just, like, little things happened. And, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, – um. I think you did a good job answering that, Mac. Mm -hmm. um, Emily Shaw at Auburn Plainsman. For the seniors, um, what did you tell your team coming into this game, and what final notes are you going to leave with them for next season? Uh, I just want everybody to give it all they had. I mean, leave it all in the field. I mean, we've worked so hard and just to let it just just play and have fun I mean I had fun even though we lost like I had fun playing the game and that's all I can ask of our underclassmen to do and I just hope they continue to work just as hard as we did this entire year in practice and really do come back stronger and bring these other freshmen in and like get them moving faster and learning faster and I mean they'll be right back here next year if they can do that and I know they can. Yes, the Dwayne Rankin Montgomery advertiser questions for Jade, Emily, and Casey. How frustrating is a game like is knowing you're a much better hitting team than that and not being able to deliver in a game like this? Jade. Um, I wouldn't say frustrating. I mean, yeah, it's frustrating, but it happens to the best. Um, we're, we got them to the third game. And most people didn't even think that was going to happen. I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. This is an amazing team, and it's just, it's, you know, sucks that <laughs> we had to go out this way. But I know that we're capable of hitting. We've shown it all the time. I mean, the second game, look, we scored 11 runs in, what, two innings? So I really don't have any doubt that we could have did it again. So it is what it is. Uh, Paige Parker did a great job. It's, it's the happiest time of the year and the saddest time of the year. Uh, there's always a loser and there's always a winner, and I think Oklahoma deserves it. I'm frustrated uh, to the fact that we know we're better, but I'm more frustrated that we didn't have Emily's back. Emily had a bad game, and we weren't there for her, and we're better. When Wendy had a bad game, we got behind her and we gave her the support. <laughs> and Emily shouldn't be feeling this way because we didn't have her. And that's what I have to say about that. Uh, Jade and Tiffany, Jay Jacobs the other day said that Clint Myers is the best teacher that he's ever been around. Uh, what did he teach you? What will you leave this program with? Want me to go first? Do you want I, me? Go for, I mean, um, confidence. Um, I had none of it basically my sophomore year, and it definitely built on every single year. And like just he, just him believing in me, like made me want to believe in myself even more. 
So mostly that. And he literally just teach the game to me in a whole new way. I, I really don't think I understood softball quite as well as I thought I did until he came here. And it felt like I was literally learning a whole new game. And I thank him so much because he literally got me to my full potential, I feel like. And I can't thank him enough for that. Trevor Rogers, OU Insider, 24-7 Sports. This question is for Jade. Jade, you had a successful series against uh, Paige Parker, two home runs. Talk about what, you know, what it was like to face her. It's just like facing any other pitcher. I mean, you're going against the best of the best when you come to the College World Series. And she did her thing. I mean, she came in there and shut us down. A couple of us had great at-bats. And just seeing the ball was great knowing that my last at bat, I mean, wasn't a hit, but she did her thing. I mean, she's a great pitcher, and she came in and shut us down. Jason Kersey from SEC Country. For the, for the seniors, um, when you think, and I know it's probably tough right now, but about the transformation this program's gone under since you were freshmen, getting to this point, um, are you proud of the shape you're leaving the program in, and, and what do you think the uh, future holds? Um, for me, I couldn't be more proud. Um, starting from when I was a freshman and ending now. Um, it's an amazing feeling. Having Coach come in my sophomore year, um, he turned it around. I mean, obviously, a lot of you don't know I was not the person I was my freshman year to now. So um, getting to finish with Emily, I mean, we call us our right side. So Emily's always going to be there if I'm there. Um, and I, I know he's going to leave this whole team. This is going to be a big turnaround. People that are coming in, they're going to pick it up. He's not going to quit teaching. He's going to, you know, tell us what – He's going to tell them what he told us, and that's not, we're not slowing down for you. You're going to have to pick it up, and you're going to have to go with our pace because we're not slowing down. For Casey. Oh, let's see. I, I, I can't be more proud of us. Like, I literally sometimes just sit down and really think about our freshman year and – then the transfer, the transition, our sophomore year, and that was just itself a huge leap. And then we took another huge leap, and now like, like we're here playing for a national title. And I never thought in a million years, like I would be doing this. And I feel like none of us freshmen really did during that time. So I'm I'm so proud of us for what we did, and I guarantee you they're going to be back next year to finish it off. So. Casey. Um, this whole then year, and you even said it back in fall ball, was three more days. You guys accomplished three more days. What is the next motto, and when does that start for you guys? Maybe win. I think that's a good one. Um, we need to be more specific next time. Uh, just to focus more on the little things, you know, we, we failed ourselves, and we failed to have each other's backs, and – we're going to put a big focus and emphasis on that next year. We need to focus on, you know, when there's a runner on third, get them in. We need to focus on finding a way on and making adjustments to the plate when we're struggling and getting them in the air. Put pressure on the defense. Make them make the plays because the field's a rock, and it plays different when in the first inning than it does the fifth inning because the water dries out. So just – putting more pressure on the defense and having our pitchers' backs. I think our pitchers pitched a fantastic job, and I could not be more proud of them because they were the best staff that I've ever been a part of. Um, we couldn't ask more from them, so we're going to say keep up the good work and keep doing what you're doing. Offensively, we're going to really focus on that because, you know, I feel that defense does win ball games, but as long as you score more runs than the other team, you're going to win. So that's what I would say going forward. Are there any other questions? If not, coach, ladies, thank you. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket.
This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.